to manually jog an axis or manipulate a function as such as gripper or vacuum on or off. From the home screen, select the manual tab at the lower portion of the pendant. To move an a numerical axis, select the axis and you will see on the right hand side a slider appear with the associated selected axis. Move it in the direction desired and you will see the current position inputted into the dialog box. For a pneumatic axis, select the direction the axis should activate to. and release. For vacuums or grippers, select the vacuum icon. You can turn the vacuum on by selecting which vacuum you desire and turn it off with the off key. If the vacuum has blow off configured, you can activate the blowout and then turn it off. Grippers can be act accessed by selecting the gripper number, closing the gripper, and opening the gripper. Molding machine signals. If the operation with robot is off, you can actuate a signal by highlighting the output and turning it off or on. Inputs for the molding machine can be viewed to the current situation. Peripheral outputs can be actuated through this icon and peripheral inputs through this icon. Peripheral outputs can be activated by selecting the output and turning it on or off manually. Counters can be viewed under the manual section of the abacus as well as the new function on the R9 variables. You can reset the variables by reset all or highlight an individual variable and select reset. Counters as well can be reset all or reset by highlighting an individual counter and selecting reset. Conveyors can be actuated if the conveyor function is configured you can turn the conveyor on and off in the manual mode. Hitting the arrow right button at the bottom will bring you to additional functionality such as handling groups. And once again, handling groups can be activated and deactivated. Input groups can be viewed and the details can show what the current state is.